flew it's in. Chicago. Upset Kuyashi. Uh, I don't really think that's an upset, but yeah. Kuyashi was seated higher. As someone yeah. that's in Chicago and Michigan. It looked like Kuyashi was pretty upset, so that's something. Yes, uh, he's always upset when he loses. Yeah. And Unsure actually upset Cobb, which is a pretty Sick. big yeah. deal. That, that was a pretty good. I really like that set. I wish I got to see it. Yeah. But um, this has happened many times. Yeah, so what do you, you think is going to happen? Give me, the, give me the rundown. Um, The thing is, so normally I would give the edge to Fluid. Um, but these are two, I think they're like three and four in Chicago or like three and five, something like that. But uh, Fluid did have a loss to uh, Danny Phantom at uh, HTL, who is a Wisconsin Fox, kind of known for doubles. Him and Gary Oak usually do really well. Sick. Um, and yeah, he took out Fluid and it just looked like he was doing Fox things and Fluid yeah. was having trouble. Um, but I think Fluid's right at home. I also don't know if the wobbling is banned. Yeah, no, Wobbly's definitely banned here, but uh, I don't think it really matters to Fluid. Yes, From that's what, what I was going to say. Is, uh, he's not really a wobbler. So back in the day, even when he got his biggest win against Fiction, back at like Genesis 3, I think, yeah. he was a non-wobbler. And up until recently, he didn't wobble at all. Oh, and, uh, he recently he, picked up that skill? Yeah, he was the on the fly on Manita School where he like wasn't that good at yeah. it and he felt like it messed up as neutral. But now it's kind of unavoidable, mm -hmm. except wobbling is, you know, not legal at this tournament, yeah. but Joseph is comfortable. Now it's very avoidable, you know? Yeah. Now they're phasing it out of the current meta. I, I think it's healthy for, like, Ice Climber oh. neutral, just what I've been seeing from Fluid today. It seems like he's playing a lot more creatively than what I'm used to seeing. Yeah. So it's like it's been kind of a treat to watch him, and I'm not as, like, you know, irked to see an Icy's on stream as I might have been before. Yeah, I mean, Fluid definitely plays very, like, creatively. He throws out a lot of early aerials, Yeah. tries to zone the space in front of him. Yeah, I was mentioning this earlier, but uh, when it, when there's just like one solo climber left, you get you almost get mad at yourself when you leave them alive too long. You're yeah. just like, they should be the next stock. I killed something, like it should be Ooh. done. And nice then you get set up for this, yeah. right? Oh, it's just it like, oh, you're though. done. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, when you're playing a not so good character, as Ices or at least the Poe can be, yeah. um, you have to like take out things that your character can't deal with. And his early, like, fares and, like, fadeback aerials are doing a good job of taking away running shine. Yeah. And we're seeing that Unsure is now forced to go to the platforms, and it doesn't look like he's as comfortable doing that. Yeah. Yeah, what I do like is seeing Fluid do a lot of intercepts, because as soon as Unsure started going to the platforms, he just started sharking up airs. Yeah. And I, I like seeing Fluid catch on pretty quickly, because it seems like Unsure is just live creating his game plan. Yeah, and I think that one of the things that the best ICs can do is not necessarily not you let you get to the platform, but once you leave it, they don't let you get back. They yeah. recognize where your like center of mass is, where yeah. you want to go, and if they just deny it, then it's very difficult for you to get back into your flow, and then you start making technical yeah. errors, and then yeah. they hit you. You know, yeah. Once you get like the conceptual momentum of like what their game plan is and what they want to do, and you start intercepting that, yeah. it seems like it, once you knock a player off the rhythm at this level, they don't really know Ooh. what to do beyond. That. Oh, laser laser smash land. was cool. Yeah. I was saying, like, no one no one laser lands here because I tried to call it out in the crew battle and it wasn't happening. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm sure likes KJH. He's going to laser land. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, he definitely watches Fox Privilege videos. Yeah. Shouts he, to my boy. Yeah, he watches them right before bracket. <laughs> okay, very dangerous aerials. Like yeah. I was saying, yeah, low percent like that. Not even crouch cancel, just ASDI down when he's yeah. in the air. You're going to get smash attack. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. You that usually get, like, one combo. free blizzard, but it seems like Flu is not getting his free blizzard. Yeah, that was good, like, SDI wow, in some I direction. really like that runaway. Yeah. I like that a lot. Ooh, the full hops. So I think, like, because this is game one, I think I like Unsure's new game plan as opposed to the one that I saw, like, two stocks ago. So okay. it seems like he's going to eat, like, a pretty big punish. Dude, that was a tech chase. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was insane. Because he, um, the throw was random, and he got the back throw, and he still check chased off it. Yeah. And basically was like, okay, I'll get a better throw next time. And he was able to reset that situation. Yeah, I think Fluid's a pretty good case study in, like, what Ice Climbers could look like if we just completely take out Wobbling. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, I mean, he's really entertaining. I'm a big fan. Yeah. It, he looks more like a, like one of those large combo grapplers and like a traditional fighter, mm -hmm. as opposed to something with, like, a cornered infinite, where you just, like, have to sit, watch, cut away to a different screen. Yeah, well, there's definitely another strategy with non wobbling ICs that is basically grab in the corner and then yeah. hand off because you know where the throws are going. Yeah. You know, a grab in the corner is always a back throw from Nana. I think uh, I think I saw that happen down. during the crew battle. I think uh, someone, oh, Mui, uh, was... Yeah, Mui versus yeah. Drevin. And then Drevin was just getting, like, repeatedly downthrown, like, against the... on the edge. Yeah. The, the re Yeah, when Nana is close enough to the ledge, she'll always throw towards the ledge. Yeah. So we will that was probably a fantastic see it. Up yeah, we'll see it at some point in the set where like Nana gets a grab by the edge, it's just F throw, F throw, blizzard, blizzard, you know. That sort of thing. Oh, nice downer. Just trying to get back to the floor. 
You know, Fluid wants to constantly hold the advantage right now. Yeah. He's been doing a great job this set of forcing Unsure to approach and taking the space in center stage. He wants to keep doing that because if Unsure gets the lead, now Fluid has to fight on the platforms, and yeah. that's not fun. What I think I'm seeing is a pretty, like, you know, cobbled together neutral because it's Yoshi's. So there's no, like, real big traditional spacing to be done. Sure. It's kind of just, like, trying to get your hit and trying to get your opening and, like, forcing your will to the other player. Yeah. Because I'm not saying, like, Fluid play that much of neutral, and I'm just saying Unsure just attack from platforms repeatedly. Yeah, that's rough. And it's definitely a good observation. I, I think that, like, a lot of Fox players, like, their strategy in this matchup is to avoid neutral as much as yeah. possible. Like, we saw those two shines from the platform. Oh, what a nair. Nice dash tag. Great DI, yeah, by the sure. Yeah, that was fantastic DI to the platform. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I would not have caught that, that down smash. Yeah. I would have been too dialed in on mana. Good awareness, by <gasps> sure. Misses the re-grab. And that's big. That could have been a stock. Trying to get the re-grab again. This should be a stock. You know Fluid's not going to drop yeah. this. That's free. Okay, rolling Ooh. around. Oh, that's still going to be a grab. Jab reset. Ooh. She's going to try to get him to the ledge. Up throw. Yeah, that'll mess him up. Yeah. That's the throw that you what, don't what want. What do you think you could get? You think you get an up throw, I mean, an up air chase off of that? Well, he was trying, but it, like you don't know if the up throw is so variable based yeah. on where you DI. He thought side platform and it ended up being top sure. platform. Is there like a, is there like a percentage? Oh, never My mind. Yeah, God, and he's going to save Nana. That's insane. Whew. That was a high value stock. Yeah. I was like true dad style, use the nano as bait. Yeah. And come in with the hammer. I was like the uh, the broken shield nano bait, where it's like, <laughs> oh no, my popo shield is broken. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Whatever will I do? And then he just forward smash. See ya. Yeah. Oh, what a. Wow, okay. that was a really good read. Yeah. I think any hitbox would have caught him there. No way she's dead, right? No. Uh, there was definitely a way. <laughs> yeah. Unsure didn't get it. Oh. oh, that's brutal. He's laughing it off. Yeah, Nana definitely grabbed from really far. <laughs> it was a far ledge grab. Yeah, she definitely added extra magnets to her hands. <laughs> For sure. Going oh, right back right to Yoshi's. Like no, not even thinking about it. I think that's yeah. a bad sign, typically. I usually like to take a breather before like what could be the last game of the set. When it's like uh, match point, you know? I like to yeah. get an extra couple seconds. I think, like, for his style, I think this is fine. I think the only other stage that would be a consideration is, like, Battlefield, if he really sure. wants to top platform camp. Sure, but even just taking an extra second to, like, oh, reconsider yeah. your game plan. Yeah, for sure. Just because, like, getting hit by that is going to be... Dear God, dude. Yeah. I think Unsure's mentality is pretty good, but you can tell he's, like, not a big fan of what's going on right now. Yeah, I mean, he's just getting grabbed a lot. And like I said, I think, like, not being able to running shine is, like, really throwing him off. Like... Oh, wow, that okay. was really interesting. I've seen Quang go for that before, which is our Michigan ICs. If yeah. they tech in place or miss tech, the hammer itself has a hitbox. That's awesome. And it pops them up into grab. And then if they roll, you the ice block hopefully doesn't hit them, and you re-grab on the tech chase. A little bit of ICs tech right there. Yeah, see, this is what I mean by the cobbled together neutral. They kind of just, like, stared each other down and waited for the first one to like throw rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, unsure fast falling too low and didn't get his nair out there, just gets shield grabbed. He's taken a ton of percent now. Look at him, like. <laughs> Honestly, Fluid's like movement has been good enough that unsure just kind of can't hit him. That wow, was a, that nice was a really good intercept. Oh. Someone paused. Yeah, that was definitely unsure, but uh, I think they're good. Yeah, these these are boys. They, yeah. they, TO, they TO a whole that L together. Yeah. They're very good friends. Yeah. They got their matching HTL tags. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, he used the bait yeah. again. And the counter pick working against him, dude. He definitely lives on any other stage. Yeah, yeah nice. I still, th this is why I don't think this was a very good pick. Um, I, yeah. I think, like, without wobbling consideration, like, stadium isn't a really bad idea. Yeah. I think the transformations are really beneficial to Fox and really mess up Nana's recovery. Yeah. So if you can get him on a transformation and isolate him, you should be able to get a free kill most of the time. And with the low ceiling, you can get kills at, what, like 80, 85%. Yeah, I also think that what makes the stage good is you shine Nana once and she's off stage. Yeah. Unsure's not getting any shines. Yeah. Um, I, like, I like, do He just like, looks so uncomfortable in yeah. front of him. Like... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, it definitely feels like he's still playing as if there's, like, wobbling on the board because of how hard Fluid has shown his punishes to be. Yeah. Because earlier when we saw that Marth player, whose name you mentioned earlier, when he was playing against Fluid, uh, it seemed like he wasn't afraid of the wobble and was just willing to hit and hit and hit. But sure. it seems like off those big punishes, Unsure is going back to playing against the Icy's as if they can wobble. Yeah. And I think that, like, the thing is, Icy's can't wobble right now, but even without wobbling, they could still reaction tech chase, yeah. actually. And Fluid's doing it pretty well. Oh, that should be a kill. Yeah. 
Sakurai combo, and Ooh. Fluid takes the lead, honestly, for the first time in this set, I feel like. Yeah, unsure with the lead, and That's a shine. that might... Oh, yeah, she's dead. Later, she's dead. and Fluid's yeah. dead, too. It was the magic percent, dude. There was nothing Fluid could do. Yeah. So now we need to see where we're going. Uh, uh, honestly, Wait. in a wobbling world, it's FD. Yeah. In a non-wobbling world, it's probably still FD, but I could see the logic behind, like, a Fountain of Dreams. Yeah. Pause being turned off. That's smart. Okay, we're going to see FD. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm really saying, I think the first grab is going to define how uncomfortable Unsure plays the rest of this He's, game. She's dead. Oh, wow, yeah, that no, was so far. Yeah, that was definitely just close enough. I actually didn't know that you could outspace the get-up attack like that. Really? Because he was far enough away that the get-up attack didn't work, and this is a... That is going to set the tone for the rest of this game, and I think Unsure is going to start playing really anti around the grab. Get-up attack. I think he should have rolled. No way. He's oh. living. Yeah, if he had rolled with Nana instead of get-up attack, he would have gotten that edge guard. But, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. There's a lot of inputs that Fluid had to put in to yeah. get that edge guard. <laughs> okay, getting a lot of damage oh. on Nana. Yeah, you think he's going to ledge? Oh, wow, just straight in. Oh. What a ledge dash. I cannot believe that didn't hit. That's yeah. so sick. He ledge dashed far enough that he wasn't even there anymore when the up smash no, was No, 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 that was a really bad idea. That's the whole Nana is bait thing. Dash tech. Yeah, Unsure is getting too dialed in on Nana. Dude, Fluid's reactions and his reads on point. Unsure literally just nodded. He yeah, knows. Unsure is grimacing, yeah. Once you get to the edge, there might as well be wobbling because mm -hmm. not only can they just do it into F smash like that, but they can hit you and then re-grab again. You're just stuck. Yeah, like, but what makes it a really good alternative is there's like still execution to be done. It's not just beats per minute. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. I mean, like if, when you're playing against an Ice as good as Fluid, yeah. He's going to hit it. You well, know? I mean, it's kind of like the uh, Fox Shine Infinites, right? Like, when you're playing a really good player, like, it feels, like, automatic. But under those high-pressure situations, they can still miss it. So that's why I find it a little more interactive than, you know, traditional wobbling. Well, yeah, but, I mean, like, it's not really the same as a Shine Infinite because you get an SDI of the Shine. If yeah. he's just grabbing back and forth, yeah. no SDI to be found. Anyway, Fluid coming up on a four-stock right now. Unsure looks a little bit mentally beaten right now. Yeah, I think Unsure has already said he's lost the set. Yeah, I think the thing is, like, he's kind of checked out. Like, maybe if Fluid, like, gives him a stock like he did on the Yoshi's game, yeah. he checks back in. He's, like, already picturing, like, the fist bump he's going to give. He's already yeah. picturing what he's going to say to the TOs. Yeah, what he's going to tweet. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna be like, oh, yeah, Wobbling wasn't banned, but that needs to be banned still. <laughs> it's going to be insane. Just put it on Sure's face in the Armada thumbnail. Yeah, I'm retiring from melee singles. Yeah, he's going to be in the hold that L group chat going, I can't believe I lost the fluid again. <laughs> Jab reset. Yeah. Let's see how it fluid's punish game is looking like. Oh, what that a That was there. almost fantastic. Almost got the combo. Unsure, he's still fighting. That back air really wanted to reverse, though. Nice mash. Yeah, it really feels <laughs> like he's just on autopilot right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some interesting neutral game going on right now. Nana's dead. If he can get the stock, it's it's honestly doable. Oh boy. Yeah. Again? Unsure honestly a little slow. You can see Fluid yeah. getting out of jump there, giving him a little extra height, and then at that point the SDI is like pretty trivial. Okay. This That's is really complete this is doable now. Okay. Okay, goodbye. 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 Yeah. That's a 3-1. Yeah, he said, I'll see you in losers. They're, they're boys. They give out the hug. You guys didn't see it on stream. Very affectionate. Yeah. Good gamers. Very nice. Let's see what other matches we got. Yeah, I know uh, Magi Zamu is coming up, I think. Really? I think Zamu had Reeve and Magi B at Heavy Pecker Raw 3-1. Wow. So I'm looking forward to that set. So that was one winner's quarter, right? Or was that the round before? Probably I think the round that was before. winner's round one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So winner of that is in quarters, I'm pretty sure. Yeah.